You're listening to 87.1 Caroline Radio, KCGN Bakersfield, your home for all your variety hits, and Blind Advocate Radio, a uh, home of now the Aaron's Opinion Podcast. Welcome back, listener. How are you? I'm glad you had a good week. This evening, I'm joined by someone by the name of Cassie Carson. And she was telling me in one of our groups on Facebook that we're in that she's just having a lot of, um, of issues. And I was about to tell you that, that the things that you're having trouble with dealing with the sighted community have been talked a lot about, talked a lot over many years on YouTube by many, many blind people. So I'm really kind of frustrated and kind of surprised that, that, that this is still an issue. Cassie, welcome to Aaron's Opinion. Go Thank right you. ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what's going on because we're listening to you. Go right ahead. Uh, yeah, so I have posted not just on the group that we are in, but um, specifically for me, I had a post on Reddit that sort of went viral a little bit. And it was a just a regular post on, uh, I believe it was r slash entitled parents, where it was my first outing after going fully blind to Walmart and I was alone. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to learn how to do this eventually anyway. Uh, so I decided to take a step out of my bubble and just hit Walmart for some essential things. And I had the unfortunate luck of running into a Karen who proceeded to tell me that I wasn't blind because I wasn't wearing sunglasses and I was faking it and I'm too young for this and blah, blah, blah. And as I was arguing with her, trying to explain to this woman that A, blindness is a spectrum, so you can never tell if someone is blind or how blind by looking at them and B, I assure you I am blind, uh, her child took my cane and ran off, uh, which to... If any of you are blind or uh, very visually impaired, that is impossible to get around a public place you don't know the layout of without your cane. So I, you know, proceeded to stumble into things. I had to have somebody help me out. And I posted this on Reddit and it blew up. I had thousands and thousands of comments literally half of them were people asking, oh, well, if you're blind, how were you typing? Oh, if you're blind, how did you do this? And trying to find discrepancies and inconsistencies in my story. Like, they were almost trying to convince themselves that I was faking. I must be faking it. And they were looking for proof in just these impossible scenarios. And I come across this a lot is... I don't know where the doubt is coming from. I really, truly don't, because I can't imagine somebody faking being blind. Firstly, to a medical doctor, they would they shut you down pretty quickly. And B, you'd be caught in you know a matter of days. Uh, you know, I I've been totally blind for a year now. At this point, you know, someone would have noticed if I was faking it and I, again i have no idea why anyone would want to fake it being blind is it is horrible it's it's awful i had to sell my car i had to st you know i had to relearn how to do everything just just general things cooking cleaning um, it's it's horrible there's no reason to fake this so i don't understand why so many people only ever sighted people are always trying to look at blind people and say, oh, well, you're not blind because you did this. I was listening to Molly Burke on YouTube, and she has multiple videos saying it's exactly, that... It's exactly who I was thinking of when I... Yes! I pushed so many screen. videos of her just saying, so many people are saying I'm not blind, but... Exactly what I was thinking when I said that, that YouTubers are talking about yes. that. Yes! Yeah, I follow... Her and Joy Ross, and it's like... Yeah. First I of all, Joy Ross doesn't have eyeballs. You know, she has no eye. Well, I mean, she does, but she has glass eyes. So, like, you can't fake that. I don't understand okay. how so many well, people can be so well, ignorant. Well, well, I, you know what? I, on one hand, Cassie, I'm really glad you came in tonight. Uh, and to continue, 
and to mm. continue my point, I'm really glad because maybe I can shed some light into, um, obviously, I, I completely agree with you. Oh, I'm sure you're, you've had you've heard this many yeah. many times. You're 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 a thousand you're a thousand percent right. They're a thousand percent wrong. Let me let me just put it into perspective mm -hmm. that um, it would be incredibly difficult to fake blindness. Now, yes, there have been a couple of people throughout history, okay, who have Ooh. faked being blind to acquire to acquire benefits there was some there was some guy are, are you familiar with this i've i have not heard of this uh, i'm there, fairly new to the community oh, okay so. well, there was no i this is you are you really are blind i am not very that, much so okay i'm not and i'm blind too <laughs> oh i don't doubt that okay so i'm just i'm saying that to be to be overly cautious so you oh mm -hmm. Aaron Richard said, you know there's always that in the podcasting community. right right there was okay there was a man in florida um, of course it was florida he you're 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 gonna love it he faked being blind for 14 years so he could get Jesus. ssi checks and then in the end in the end his wife turned him in Okay. Oh my God! See, I'm not so, even on social security. Well, it's a whole other story. Okay, my my point is two things. Yes. People people have faked disabilities before. Oh, of course. It's, very, it's incredibly. It disturbs me and it offends me beyond anything in the world. I'm saying mm -hmm. it. I'm saying it not to talk about them. I'm saying it not to give them credit. I'm just telling you, I'm just saying it to make a point to say that actually people have fake disabilities and that's not you. And the fact that, uh, and the fact that over a thousand people responded to your Reddit post saying that you're a fake, quite frankly, that offends me. And I'm not even oh, on Reddit. Sure. That's, offensive <laughs> to my, that's offensive to my sensibility, okay? That's offensive right. to my sensibility as a successful blind American, as a, as a successful citizen of the world, that simple act of questioning, okay, that's offensive. To, to, it put is. It all, to put it all in perspective, let me tell you, I think that one of the reasons why so many people are so skeptical of so many things is because today we're hearing so many fake news stories and that so much information around the world is fake or fabricated mm -hmm. or exaggerated. So I'm not justifying it. It's a thousand percent not okay. And you're a thousand percent right. And the way that Karen treated you in the store was a thousand percent inappropriate. Personally, I would have I would have written letters to judges. I would have I would have made a scene. But I'm just telling you that right, it does right. it does it also does not surprise me in this world that we live in of skepticism and all the mm -hmm. different challenges of our world. It sadly I'm not surprised that people question that. Um and it's it's not it's not appropriate, but I'm also gotta tell you, I'm not surprised because there's yes. a lot of things that are being talked about in social media and around the community that people believe that they should never believe and that absolutely should, and that they should question. So it's not it's not remotely okay, but I totally I, I, I think I know why there's so many questions. And I think one of the right. reasons, and I think one of the reasons for it is is that there's so much fake stuff you don't know I, I don't know I don't know what to believe anymore with certain things. Well that's exactly it, isn't it? Is there's we live in a day and age of yeah. skepticism where I no one it. knows what to believe anymore. So make, we're all I looking for loopholes. Or, I can't make heads or tails. You know what? I, I, I kid you not. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher by day, podcaster by evening. And I, I can't make heads or tails of myself half the time. I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I don't know who I am half the days. So, you know, these days are blurring together. I, that I is, have, that is understandable. I, 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 I have to, I have to remind myself what, what society I'm living in here. I mean, this is, <laughs> We live, we live in a really strange time. Um, yes. the, other, the other thing that I would tell you is that the Reddit community um, are, are skeptics. Reddit is a, is a platform where people post about the oftentimes the paranormal or scary mm -hmm. experiences mm -hmm. or unusual things. So again, I'm telling you. Right. right up, so everyone right looks the, at these things, you know, they take all of that, this with a grain of salt. That audience, okay, the people who go to Reddit, go to Reddit just to read things that are not true, or they go to Reddit to yes. try to find out things that are unusual. Reddit right. probably is not the best place to post this. 
I'm, I'm glad you posted it in Reddit. And you, you well, all I was trying to do was raise awareness. Uh, you know, just right. it okay, was but... our slash entitled parents. I wanted people to know that these people exist. You know, I had heard stories and on pr- Reddit I'm, of, of other people doing that, like, you know, okay, someone's well, wheelchair great. was stolen or someone's. Well, great. Uh, you know, I just well, wanted to. And that's, and that's totally, to- mm-hmm. totally fine. I, I, I defend you for doing that. That's, that's not the issue. But one, one thing on top of all of it that I have learned and I have to have to remind myself of is that when you're when you're sharing information what is equally important to the information you're sharing Mm -hmm. is who you're sharing it with and who your who your audience is so I support you in that is that is true but you know it's it it what uh, the only reason why I'm saying it is because I'm just telling you yeah I'm kind of not surprised if you're going to post on Reddit you know the types of weird there's I mean there's there's some strange there's some strange characters on Reddit oh very much um, so whereas in on Facebook or maybe LinkedIn or a more academic platform right and I understand that um a lot of people on Reddit are you know posting these outlandish stories for the Reddit karma or gold or whatever but. I had made my Reddit account like a day before I posted this. So uh, well, there was no well, reason good. for Reddit or, or for gold or, or karma or anything like that. But it's not just Reddit because right. I come across this sort of thing oh, sure. in my everyday life. I go out to brunch with one of my friends and you would be surprised the number of times Actually, at this point, waiters or waitresses. Be. Oh, yeah. The number of times waiters or waitresses have absolutely no idea what to do to a fully or blind the, person they or, just set the coffee down she, in front of me and they'll won't, they won't say anything or, or what does she want what does yeah she want? yeah yeah or they yeah. talk to the person i'm with and like well, you know it's very common it's, it's very, so very common. annoying i have knocked over hot coffee on a daily basis at this point because they just put it in front of me and they expect that i know exactly where it is or right. they put down a hot right. plate in front of me and i'm like what exactly is going on because I'm not visually impaired. I'm fully blind. Okay. You know, I have and the other, no light And the perception. other thing, and, you know, and, and, you know, listener, you, you at home, this is the first time I've spoken with Cassie. You're doing a great job, by the way. Well, thank um, you. You're, you're really articulate and you're, you're, th- everything you've said, the post was a hundred percent, just that you're, you're a hundred percent in the right. Um, I'm just, I'm just telling you, you know, you just gotta, mm-hmm. you just gotta be in, in the back. And I have to think about it too. It, it takes practice. You have to think, mm-hmm. well, who's really watching this? You know, what type yes. of audience is this truly going to? Because I'm, I am not sharing this podcast with everyone on purpose. I'm sharing mm-hmm. it with blind people on purpose because mm-hmm. blind people are my audience. There's a good percentage of people who don't even know that this, that this even exists. Um, mm-hmm. But my, my point behind all of this was to say that, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of these, a lot of these unusual, a lot of these, un, a lot of unusual behavior these days. And mm-hmm. I've, I too have kind of had enough. Um, but, uh, so now, oh, is the, the other thing. Okay. The mm-hmm. other thing that I was going to mention, you, you jumped into it and I, I had to, I have to address it is that you said you have been blind for a year. Now that's a critical critical sentence yes. for critical thing for, for the listener to pay attention to. You said have been, okay? Mm-hmm. You are that means that you were not born blind, right? No. Okay. I was not born blind. Okay. I was okay. I was born blind. Okay. okay. Now, how and I've been blind my whole life. I'm mm-hmm. by the way, I'm 28 years old. Um so as uh, am I. Oh. Uh how as did of you next week actually? I know. How did you now? How did you become blind? In summary. Okay. So, mm-hmm. and that's uh, another thing is, you and I are both fully blind. However, I was not actually, born not, fully blind. Actually, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but actually, I'm, I'm not fully, I'm not fully blind. Okay, my mistake. Uh, I, no, no worries. I see, and this, is, this is where even, even talking about it gets very confusing. So oh, very much so. Yes. So I'm blind. I'm blind. Mm-hmm. So I can't see. So here's, here's how I tell people. Mm-hmm. I'm blind. I can see a little bit, but I can't see well enough to drive a car. Okay, so fair. That, so that that gives people a good idea. I have some mm-hmm. usable vision. Now, mm-hmm. now, how did you how did you become blind? Okay, so we don't know the exact cause. I have been from doctor to doctor to doctor, and um, honestly, blindness is because it's such a wide spectrum, and there are so many causes of blindness. It's such a complicated thing, our eyes, and there's a thousand cogs working together. And if a single one of those stops working, the whole system is shot. So diagnosing blindness 
usually takes a lot of time. You get seen by a lot of different doctors. And it took me a good couple of months, like a good solid while in order to get an actual diagnosis. But my diagnosis, my official diagnosis is